Islands in the Sun by Weezer. That's a fantastic song. Good afternoon. It is just gone on the half past two here on Shepia FM. What a beautiful sunny day. Hope you're enjoying it so far. And the music. Love to hear from you, whatever you're up to. And uh, I've got uh, two guests in the studio with me now. Uh, Dave Bennett from Dave Bennett Distribution and Santos from uh, Mary Gay. I hope I've pronounced that correct. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Hey. So, good afternoon. How are you both doing now? It's lovely to see you here. Hello, Chris. Yeah, it's Hello. nice to see you. It's oh. nice to... You can just see me round the corner. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice It's nice to be in the studio, actually. It's not, I've never seen this before, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. Thank you for having us. Hello. You're most welcome, and it's lovely to have you here as well. Now, what are you in for? What are we discussing? Well, you, anybody who's listening, you bound to know who Dave Bennett Distribution Company is. You may have seen their vehicles, their lorries, around the island and further afield. Um, now, the, uh, the question, of, well, what the subject is, Dave and Santos, you are taking uh, one of your lorries, uh, fully fuelled with two drivers, which is both of you, at the, essentially at the end of the day, to Poland with supplies for Ukraine. Yeah, that's correct. That yeah. is fantastic. So, tell us a little bit about it. Explain what, what you... Thanks. Um, we're, 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 uh, we're, we've been, I, I got in contact with uh, Ray from, uh, from the Rotary uh, three months ago and I said to him that I would like to do a trip. I felt like I, I wanted to help uh, the Ukrainian people out. Uh, in any way I could, and I thought maybe the best thing to do is to is to get a truckload of stuff and take down there basically. And uh, the the Rotary have been so kind that them and about five other different charities and organisations have uh, banded together and put uh, a full load of um, medical, medical supplies, medical supplies uh, and we're taking that down basically. Uh, we're also we're also going to be in. Um, in the aviator pub tomorrow, we're leaving the island at uh, uh, six o'clock tomorrow night, and uh, we're going to go from there. We've got a couple of pickups on the way. We're videoing it and filming it. Mm. We're, we're we're putting it on Facebook and everything else. Um, that sounds so, brilliant. So hopefully, we're going to get a, a few of your um, listeners to come down to the aviator pub uh, tomorrow night between four and six o'clock uh, to really join us and maybe. Maybe donate a, a little bit of money towards signing the trailer, giving them, uh, giving, giving the Ukrainian uh, either, either putting their signature on it or or uh, um, uh, and their support. Yeah, yeah. That sounds fantastic. A way to get the community involved. So, how, how going back a little bit, how did you arrive at this point? I mean, right from the beginning, you said you wanted to, uh, you know, help do your little bit for, you know, helping those that are suffering at the moment during the war in Ukraine. Um, uh, you arrived at this point, was it just something you thought about overnight or was it you know, just something you've been considering for a long period of time? Um, I, my, my brother uh, died uh, on my birthday two years ago and mm -hmm. uh, two weeks later a good friend of mine died as well. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, you know, I mean, I've been thinking of something to do, to, to, for me really, for, to make me feel better I suppose. Um, and and uh, by doing something for charity and doing something for people is actually um, very rewarding. So yeah, um, uh, So uh, so this is what what we uh, I come up with really basically. And got Santos involved in it. Santos got his own own YouTube channel, and and I wanted to film it and um, and uh, put it out there just to just to uh, just to get people to understand what's happening in Ukraine. I know that people understand what's going on, hmm. but I wanted to help them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, why not? So, you know, um, you mentioned a few people that are involved in the project. Who exactly are involved? I know you mentioned the Rotary Club as well, um, and their involvement in, in, in this project. Um, is there anybody else that's, um, you know, with it? Santos? Yeah, we got this uh, uh, charity, so they helping us with, uh, uh, so with the load or so we just not last yesterday. So we just load uh, 50, 50 uh, uh, wheelchairs, oh. and uh, yeah, we got this uh, medics together. Uh, UA Future, so the Ukrainian uh, Catholic Church in Gloucester, so the Ukrainian Reading School. So they are all helping us in a, in a, in this trip. So we got a couple of lorries come down from Scotland. So Rotary Club in Scotland, oh, wow. Inverness. Yeah. So they bring it out with a uh, full of blood with blankets. So. Blankets. So there's there's lots of stuff to go out there, mm. but it's just trying to find they're trying to find the uh, transport, and the that's transport, that's yeah. that's the hardest bit for them. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, and I so. suppose that's where you come in as well, isn't it? You know, yeah. and, and things that I suppose we wouldn't really think of because. 
I mean, we've had our collection centre here as well. We've taken in things like clothing, blankets, that sort of thing. But things that we wouldn't also think about that had been donated by various organisations, as you said, like wheelchairs and other medical equipment as well, yeah. which is fantastic and is a way of getting it over there. Um, so, so now the question is, what? Are you, I mean, because you're going to be travelling from here across Europe as well to Poland. What are you expecting on your journey? Is it just going to be a, a general everyday trip, or is there something? Along the way, well, we just we just want to have a bit of fun, you know. It's, of course. Uh, uh, it's it's in, in, you know when I was used to be in round table years ago, and mm. uh, and my motto was that we we we'll uh, we, we hopefully have some fun and then um, and raise a bit of money on the same thing. So yeah. it's about having a bit of fun, but it's also about raising money for charity or raising money for somebody. So the main thing is to help them. Yeah. So yeah, of course. Cool. Uh, what we're going to do, I don't know. I've, I haven't drove a truck for over 20 years, so <laughs> it's uh, I'll, uh, I, I've drove a truck, but not on a young, long journey. So it's uh, oh, okay. it's a bit different for me as well. It's going to be interesting. Yes, that's not my case because now we drive <laughs> abroad all the time. So me and my like company, say. and yeah, it's a long way because we've been crossing. Uh, so in this country, so Belgium. Uh, whole Germany and the whole Poland until we get the border to, to Ukraine. So mm. total would be 1,153 miles Ooh. and it would be a couple of days driving. Of course, so, yeah. 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 Oh, that sounds fantastic. And I suppose as you're passing through these different areas and countries, you're going to sample some of their food and cuisine along the way. You know, it's not just going to be truck stop um, breakfast, is it? Fries up. No, no. Come yeah, on. we try. That's what we've planned it before. So we, yeah. we would like to know exactly what you've been tasting as you go through yeah. the journey. When, when I, I used to go down to Germany and I uh, I used to drink their coffee out there and I just couldn't sleep <laughs> because their coffee is so strong. Right? Santos, that, yeah. Santos is it usually is it, being Italian is is used to a strong coffee. Yeah. I have one of them and I'll be uh, yeah, I'll express. be buzzing all night. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're sitting there thinking, come on, you weakling, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the only other thing I'll say is we are we have actually gone through uh, we have asked a lot of just well uh, friends of mine. And people I know that are in business to uh, to uh, give us a donation, and, and a lot of people have. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be. They are. They, we have filmed that, and that, that will be on the channel and uh, uh, um, Facebook as well. So you know, yeah. and everything's going to be put on Facebook and and Santos channel. So it should be. Um, hopefully, there'll be a few people watching and sharing it. That's what we want: is to share it, get it out as many people as you can, mm -hmm. and maybe get some donations now. On the, um, we have got. We, we're trying to find another charity out out in Poland okay. to um, to donate uh, a load of funds. Or what we'd ideally like to do is get to the border and find uh, uh, some people that are like the, the Ukrainians that are suffering, uh, and maybe find this. It, we can open a page on GoFundMe and uh, then yeah, we can yeah. send the money direct to them. So we got we need to go there and check you know, before we share it. So anything, so make sure so where the money is going. So make sure it's going to really to these people you now who's suffering uh, yeah. over the the border. And yeah, so that's why we're going. Absolutely. So yeah, I mean, you said, and as uh, you covered quite well. Um, so what? Um, what support would you like to see from the local community, not just um, those around everywhere, but also on the islands as well, and then further afield, you say about people donating money, is there any other way they can get involved apart from obviously spreading uh, the words? Um, we'll spread the word, um, we will be in the next few, it, once we've started on the journey, or when we get to Poland, we will be potentially putting a, uh, a, um, a number or a, a, some sort of charity that we would like the money to go to. We have also had lots of people asking where the money, where if they yeah. wanted it, they want to donate, but they don't know where to put it. So we're just going to do this, and then we're whether we get back or or or, or before like middle of where we are, we'll be putting some sort of uh, page on there or whatever you where we mm. can, where they can donate. Um, well, you just need to make sure so where this donation is going. So yeah, we, yeah. Don't, we don't yeah. we don't want to be. Um, uh, having any problems with anything? Yeah, no, that's exactly. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing, what we what we would like to do is is to get people to come down to the aviator, aviator, mm -hmm. and maybe um, donate ten quid or whatever you have to, and sign the trailer and um, and. Oh, you might just pop to say hello to us. Like, yeah, yeah. So that's the. Well, that's the well, yeah. I should definitely come down. I'm sure many of our um, presenters and team here at Chevy FM would love to come down yeah. as well and do their little part. I so. think we've got. 
quite a few people coming, so mm. it should be, and we're, we're leaving from there, so it should be, um, it's just, uh, we just would like to see people come out, to be fair. Okay, well that sounds fantastic. So, um, the date and time, if you'd like to just reiterate that, um, how can, when, when can we get down there, eager as beavers with pens in our hands? money in our pocket. Uh, we, 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 we'll be there from four o'clock till six o'clock at night. Six o'clock we're going to be leaving. We've got uh, two dinner destinations in, or two pickups in England. Mm -hmm. um, Gloucester. Swin Gloucester. And one Swindon. Yeah, Gloucester and one in Swindon. We're, we're, we're trying to sort out the paperwork and um, and all, whether, whether we go to Gloucester first or whether we go to Swindon, we're not too sure which way we're going to do it yeah. or which way the stuff's going to be ready. But we need to leave at six because we will be loading the first lot of stuff uh, about 10, 11 o'clock at night. So we right. want to get to the last destination and, and basically, if you know taco rules, you want to. You want to be, be yeah. yeah. We yeah. need to be. We need to be somewhere so we can start again the next day. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it sounds like you've got it all cut up for you as well, and uh, it's going to be a very busy journey. But uh, you know, we wish you the best. So uh, finally, so you've got an online presence, haven't you, through social media, Facebook. Are there any other ways that people can get in touch with you if they're not online? Well, just come down and see us. Yeah, just come down and see us. <laughs> Why not? I'd say that's just the best way to do it. Yeah. Um, anything else before we wrap up on that today? No, I think uh, I think that is it. I just, think you've covered it pretty well, haven't you? Yeah. Just, just, uh, just if you get the information, please share it. That's all I would ask. Yep, that's it exactly. So if you just you, oh sorry, go ahead. Uh, yes, uh, we should say thank you to everyone who already gave the you now the donation to us. So we can't say uh, all the names because we don't have to leave anyone behind. Yeah, because yeah. No, there is quite a few guys that are uh, in business on the island, and I'd just like to say thank you very much for helping us. We have raised mm -hmm. we have raised quite a bit of money at the moment. Like I say, we look at our videos, uh, and you will you will see what's going on. Excellent, excellent. That is fantastic. Well, Dave and Santos, I wish you the very best. For anyone who's just tuned in, um, Dave and San uh, Dave from uh, Dave Bennett Distribution and Santos from Merigo are going through to uh, Poland with supplies for Ukraine. And uh, they are asking anybody to help out whether they can. Find them on social media and uh, get in touch with them. You can also get in touch with us here in reception as well. If you've missed any of those details, contact numbers. It's 01795664499 and we'll put you in touch with Dave and Santos and we wish you the very best for this wonderful journey that you are doing as well. So, uh, very best to you both, and thank you so much for coming into the Sheppy FM. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. And uh, this is from 1976. I think this one, you're both going to have to play this on your journey down there. C.W. McCall. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you this is our this is our signature <laughs> show. This is this is a neat vodka by the way. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, on, <laughs> No, you got water in yours. Me and Santos have got the vodka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's just not fair. Uh, oh, and I got a phone call come in. I'll take you out there. I don't know where we go now. We're, we're, that's right, I'll take you. Hello, champion them. Uh, sorry. Hello, Dorothy, you're right there.